Yo, 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 what up guys? Jacques Slade here, back with another unboxing. And today, uh, I've got something that's a little beat up, I guess. Uh, hopefully these shoes, I'm guessing, made it through. As you can see, the box is damaged there. Like, it's all coming apart here. The box is torn right here. So, uh, I'm hoping this stuff came. I imagine the box inside is gonna be totally torn up, but Let's uh, see what this is. This actually arrived, look at that. It's about to come off right here. I can just peek. This was actually arrived last week, but I was away out in uh, for sneaker con and then the holiday. And so I didn't get a chance to open it up. So I'm actually, I think I'm late opening this one up. So what's in here is probably out already, but let's take a look and see what it is. There's a lot of stuff actually happening right now. There's the NBA Summer League. Uh, this weekend is the uh, the past weekend was the baseball uh, the all star baseball all star weekend. So there's no telling what's actually inside of here. Uh, oh, hmm. I don't know what this is. Do we have that's? Oh, this is a. Uh, I'm just gonna destroy this box because there's can't. So, check this out. <laughs> There's literally just one corner protector in here as opposed to one for all four corners or all eight corners. Oh, there you go. This is not easy. I've never destroyed a box this way. So, uh, let's get this out of here. All right. So, this says just that good. Uh, and it's something from Nike. Uh, I don't know what just that good means. I have an idea from the colors. My thought is that this has, all right, I'm not gonna ruin it. I'll wait, I'll just wait in the second side because I may be totally wrong. So let me take a look inside before I show you guys. <laughs> I was right. I know you guys aren't gonna believe I was right, but I was right. I'll show you guys here so you can take a look. So this is for one of the, I would say, greatest players in the game right now. Uh, so take a look at that. Oh, you can't really see it. Top camera. Let's see what the top camera says. There you go. Take a look. And that should give it away for you, uh, for those that follow the sport of this. So this, these are baseball cleats for Mike Trout. Uh, show your force, as it says right there. So Mike Trout is actually on his fourth sneaker with Nike. Or I shouldn't say sneaker, I should say cleat. It's probably better to say his fourth cleat with Nike. And uh, little known fact, he's one of the, I believe, three baseball players that actually have a custom cleat with Nike, or maybe one, or maybe two. One, two, or three. I don't remember which one it is, but not. There's very few baseball players that actually have a cleat of after their name uh, made by Nike, and he's one of those few guys. So let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, this is empty. Uh, which probably means it's, there it is. Okay, oh, nice. Oh, oh, there's actually a message here. Uh, Mike, uh, you approached the game of baseball. A delicate balance of speed, precision, and power helped inspire the new Nike Force Zoom Trout 4. Congratulations on your fourth signature cleat. This is the latest in Nike baseball innovation. Built to help you show your force every time you step on the field. We send our best as you continue on the path to recovery. Uh, Mike Trout, obviously one of the best players in the game. Uh, comes with some Nike Vision shades or glasses, uh, whatever you want to call them. Very nice for my uh, softball league when I'm getting it in in softball. Thank you very much. I will definitely be using those uh, coming out of right field. Swag. I think that's what they say in baseball. Then also has some gloves. Very nice trot gloves. I don't remember the names of these gloves but I love the designs on these, obviously because his name is Trout and they have this design on there. We're gonna go with that design, very cool. And then let's look at the shoes. So there's two pair of shoes in here. Let's take this, this one out first. So this is the turf version of the shoe. So for those of you that play on turf or practice on turf, they have Zoom, actually have, I believe it's Zoom pods in here. Um, or maybe it's just air. So there's, wait, there's two different versions of Trout, of the Trout 4, there's a zoom version and an air version. This might be the air version for for the turf 
uh, has they have a reinforced toe they have the foam siding for stability and something that I noticed with trout shoes is that he likes a lot of padding and so they've done that again with this version of the shoe as well some perforations here for breathability and it looks it feels like it's a synthetic it's not leather uh, some sort of like hyperfuse or something like that I don't think there's leather on this at all yeah none of this is leather it's all like hyperfuse um, I really like this traction pattern on here they have these like hexagonal like it's zoom but I don't see the actual zoom in here so I could be wrong on that one but anyway just wanted to show you those and they have obviously the trout logo there on the tongue and I believe these this version the first launch colorway this is the launch colorway of the shoe they're called Mahi obviously because his name is trout they're going for the whole fish theme they have a fish theme with each one so I believe this one is Mahi so that's the turf version of his shoe and then going back inside the box we have the signature version of the shoe so let's put this box down nice leather handle right there that's very nice thank you so this is the full trout for there's again like i was saying there's two versions of his signature cleat i keep saying signature shoe but i get signature cleat signature shoe uh half a dozen in one six in the other so this is the plastic cleat version there's also a metal cleat version i believe there's two metal cleat versions and one plastic cleat version the plastic cleat version there's a so there's okay i'm trying to find how to split so there's two versions of trout's signature shoe there's one with metal cleats and one with plastic cleats but there's two metal cleat versions of the shoe one has zoom and one is called one has air and then this is the cleat version with the plastic cleat version it has air it doesn't have zoom and this model is 80 bucks if i if i recall correctly and they've done a lot of work on these obviously mike trout is such a big player and they've done a lot of analysis of like the way he runs the way he stops the way he cuts the way all of those things that he does on the field and after four generations of his shoe they feel like they've really gotten it together and so this plate is different from the other plates as you can tell it has like this very like 3d printed look to it and so part of that is from the information that they've learned from working with trout over the last four years i believe they started with him in 2013 i believe and this shoe has all of those learnings into it uh details wise they have trout here on the tongue they have trout here at the bottom of the plate and then they have respect on the heel and then the same thing with the foam just trying to give you a little extra protection there and then they actually have a little extra patent i'm going to call it patent leather here kind of like a jordan 11 a little patent leather right here on the toe to give it some for some durability and these unlike the the turf version this version has leather on the upper it's a synthetic leather it's not like leather leather but it's a synthetic leather which i imagine adds durability for the shoes to keep them from getting torn up on the field and then obviously they have the big nike right there on the inside and like i was saying with the turf version he likes the padding so they have the padding here on the inside of the ankle and the padding actually so what's very unique about this is like how the padding goes up over the collar i don't know if you guys really noticed that with a lot of shoes the padding is usually go goes right along the edge and doesn't spill over but for some reason, Mike Trout, he likes the padding to go over or the designers felt that it would be better for him. I was reading a little bit about these when they launched back last week and they were saying that Nike has actually used learnings from track and field and from football and from soccer as well to help put this together from things like durability, how rigid the plate is, how flexible it is, where it gives, where it doesn't. How, how much of a spring it has to it and all those things are all kind of coming together. I think that's really dope that the Nike design team or the Nike Research Lab is using learnings from all different sports to create a better version of a plate or a shoe for whichever sport that they're going to. I think it all kind of plays together because if you play sports, you know a lot of the movements are the same as just little small nuances that change the game and having this like 3D printed and being able to use like all that data from all those different sports really helps create something that's more fine tuned for a sport specifically, which I think is really cool, really dope. This is the Nike Air Force Trout 4, I believe it's called. This is the pro version of the shoes. Uh, yeah, I'll be using them as a pro in softball. That's be my pro version. 
Then we have the turf version of the shoe as well. We also had some gloves in there for trout. And finally, we have the glasses for those that play. All right, I'm gonna put these on. Show you guys how uh, my baseball game looks. Let's see here. And then there's the baseball version. I feel like the Terminator or something like that. Anyway, as always, guys, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And make sure you stay tuned so I have some really cool stuff coming up for you in the next couple of days. As always, I'm Jock Slade. I appreciate you. And a uh, big shout out to Mike Trout and Nike Baseball for sending this over. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.